experience some type of hair loss or hair thinning by the time they reach their 20s. Some of the reasons for hair loss or hair thinning can be because of illness such as thyroid disease or iron deficiency. Also stress can be a big factor of hair loss or hair thinning and hormonal changes as well such as pregnancy, puberty, or menopause. Also the foods we take in our, in our bodies plays a huge toll on how our hair and our skin and our nails look as well. Most people don't realize, but everything we eat plays a big factor on how we feel and how we look too. Also the way we take care of our hair. In our environment, you know, we're taught to take care of our hair certain ways, but we don't realize that some of the ways we take care of our hair could actually do more harm than good. Some of the things we can do to help our hair for hair loss and hair thinning is a few things I'm going to mention right now. The first thing that you can do is when you take a shower and you come out of the shower, most women will immediately dry their bodies off and start to work on their hair and start to blow dry their hair. That's one of the worst things that you could do for your hair. When your hair is wet, it's like a silk blouse. It's very fragile. And by putting hot heat on your hair right away, you could actually be stretching your hair, causing breakage, and also causing your hair to become dry and brittle over time. Even blow drying your hair once a week could cause damage to your hair. Some of the things you might wanna think about doing is drying your hair about 80% naturally before you actually pick up a blow dryer and blow dry your hair. Some people, because they go to work or they have a busy schedule, they don't have time to dry their hair naturally. So you may want to consider towel drying your hair and letting it dry for a few minutes, or even taking a wet brush like this. This wet brush is great because it actually, by brushing your hair several times with it, you could actually dry your hair 70% were about, yeah, I would say about 70 or 80% um, just by drying your, your hair and brushing your hair with this brush. It's made specifically to dry wet hair, and it's really good for the hair. Also, hair relaxers and hair straighteners. Many, many women tend to, to get those in the salon, but they're actually really bad for your hair. Over time, they cause breakage and splitting, and you can see that your, the quality of your hair start to thin, and it actually starts to look brittle and not so attractive anymore. So if you do get hair straighteners or hair relaxers, you may want to consider slowing down on them and not getting them as much or even stopping them totally. I would suggest stopping them totally it's, you know, because they can do a lot of damage to your hair, especially if you're experiencing hair loss or hair thinning. You want to try to do everything you can to make your hair as healthy as possible. Also diet. Like I had mentioned earlier, diet plays an important role in how your hair looks. Your hair is made of a protein called keratin, and keratin is very important uh, a factor in your hair. It's, and since your hair is made of a, pro a protein called keratin, you might wanna think about that for a second, because if, if, this, if your hair is made of a protein, then protein is very important because it actually helps with the quality of your hair. So if you have a diet where you're not really eating a lot of protein, you may want to consider starting to add some protein in your diet by the foods, by the vegetables and the fruits and some of, and some of the different um, things that you like to eat. You may want to include them more in your diet. Also, if you're not a big um, protein person and you know, you're not the healthiest person in the world, you might want to consider actually just looking at your diet and seeing what you could do, maybe create a smoothie during the day 
or create um, or buy some of those protein shakes. There are some protein shakes on the market that are really good and they're not that expensive and they actually provide your body with a lot of protein that can actually help the quality of your hair. These are some things that you could do to actually help your hair. Also, if you notice that your hair has become thinner over time and you just don't know what to do, I have a hack for you that you might actually like. Now, I've been using this shampoo and it's Professional Strength Restore Shampoo by, um, by Hair Restorations Laboratory. And they um, have an excellent shampoo and it helps, it has over 30 um, natural ingredients in it and it helps with the quality of your hair. It helps with preventing hair loss. It helps with the thickness of your hair, the health of your hair. And I've been using it for the past six months and I love it. I've seen a, a great difference uh, in, in the quality of my hair. My hair has been growing and my hairdresser even told me that my hair actually looks thicker. And when she was doing my hair, she said it's much thicker than it's ever been. And this is really good. You put it in the, in the shower when you're washing your hair. You put it in for about three to five minutes and it smells really nice. It's a nice tingly feeling and it let you, you wash it out after three to five minutes and that's all you have to do. And over time, you'll start to see your quality of your hair start to improve. I did. I think it's, it's a great product to try to see if it works. Now, like all products, don't expect something to happen overnight. It takes time. Usually for me, it took about three months and then I started seeing um, an actual improvement that was really visible. You know, you see little improvements over time, little by little, but usually it takes about three months to actually see a, a real um, vibrant change uh, in the quality of your hair. Also, I like their serums a lot. Their serums, um, this one is their um, theorem, to, ser theorem to help in, in, increase the thickness of your hair and you take the um the this the serum got it over here and you put a little dropper into your scalp and you massage it into your head and you leave it in and it is you know, great i have like I said, my hairdresser said my hair looks thicker. I have seen um, tremendous growth in my hair. When I had started, my hair was a lot shorter. And one of the um, uh, supplements in the shampoo is biotin. And I think that was really helpful. And the, the serum has been helping me a lot also, I think, um, because even my hairdresser had mentioned that she thought it my hair looked a lot thicker than usual. And for people who are experiencing hair loss, this is also another, um, this is their ultra strength um, hair regrowth treatment. And this is uh, what you do is you open it up, you take, you take um, some uh, droplets you, according to the directions and you put it in the areas that you're noticing hair loss and hair thinning and you massage it into those areas. And I have had um, a couple people try it um, and they had told me that they have been seeing improvements in their hair and they like the way it smells and they said that it gives a nice tingly feeling and they have noticed um, improvements in their hair. I have about two other people using these products right now and I haven't heard anything negative and everything has been um, positive uh, comments about the uh, product and uh, one person had just recently started, so you know, I'm waiting to hear how they how they like the product. But the other person has been using it for probably I would say about four or five months, and they have definitely seen a, a huge change, and they like what they uh, they are seeing. They're very pleased with the products. So these are a couple little hacks that you can do. Nowadays, when you're working on your hair, you know it's. Uh, you know, uh, and you're you're going out constantly, and you're using heat, and you're exposing your 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 hair to different products on the market that might have you know unnatural ingredients that could actually hurt the hair and make the hair dry and brittle, and constantly styling your hair with curling irons and straighteners and using different types of products over time. You'll you'll notice the brittleness and the dryness and your hair might not be as smooth and as vibrant. And even sometimes, you know, because of illness or genetic reasons, we may notice thinning. So there's lots of causes for, for um, hair loss, but there's things that we can do. 
And I definitely would um, suggest Hair Restoration Laboratories products. They're very good and they've been doing great. Uh, I've been getting great results myself and I really like them a lot. And if you want to learn more about their products, you can go on the completeherbalguide.com. I've written several articles um, to explain more about the products and to explain about all the different natural ingredients in the products and how the products can actually um, help and how each supplement and ingredient in the product actually benefits hair growth and, um, and helps with hair loss and hair, hair loss prevention. So, you know, go to my website and check everything out. And if you have any questions, um, if you're going through any type of hair loss or, you know, you have questions about, you know, different things that you might feel, you know, uh, you want to try and you, you're not sure of, you know, holler, give me a, you know, a holler on my qu comment box and ask me any questions you might have. And if you have any questions about the products, feel free to, um, to ask me in the comment box. Thank you so much. I hope I've been a little helpful with the few of the tips that I've supplied to you today. And I look forward to talking to you soon.